All right. Welcome back. Let me also record this session. Okay. So um, let me share my screen. Let me share my screen. Okay. Let me go to, yeah. So we are building a calculator app and the app will look like this. Something, you know, this is just a sketch. We have this, our screen, this is our screen. This is the calculator. And then this is the display. This is where we have our numeric buttons. And this is where we have our arithmetic buttons. So far, we have the following codes that we have um, been able to work on. We have our index of HTML. And here we have our calculator class, div class equals calculator. And then we have our display. And then we have our buttons, numeric buttons and operators buttons. And then we have our CSS folder in which we have our style of CSS. And in here we've styled our calculator or display our buttons. So, so far what we have is something that looks like this. So this is the um, screen, this is our calculator. Um, uh, our calculator, continue, uh, the um, calculator now. This is the display, so we want to see if we can fix the buttons. Okay, so we have our buttons, we're going to use flex to be able to arrange uh, this two set of buttons here. So I'm going to say display flex. We'll say flex direction row. Okay. And then I'm going to style my numeric buttons. My numeric buttons, I'll tell it to take about 55% um, of those width. Take 55% okay, of the of the um, space you've got, and I'm going to give it a margin margin left of um, margin left of let's say 15 px. Okay. Then my operators buttons. Okay, so I'm going to tell it to take about um rather than fifty five percent there, twenty forty five percent. So we'll take width take fifty five percent. Okay, and I'm going to say margin. Margin um, 0px auto, so it sits at the middle. Okay, so now it, it does not look like we have anything here. Okay, so we we'll just wait until we place our buttons. We'll place our buttons now. So now, first to uh, place our buttons, let's use some code to display our buttons. Okay, so I want to add JavaScript. Add JavaScript. Um, let me use, let me say, um, create a new folder, call it JS, and in there, I'm going to create a, sorry, my JS folder, I'm going to create a new file, I'll call it script.js. Okay. So here, we're going to create our, uh, JavaScript uh, codes. Okay, so uh, I'm going to create. Um, I'm going to style these buttons. These numeric buttons here right now. So um, let me style it first of all. So I'm going to say that numeric. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm going to say display flex. Then I'm going to say flex 
direction row. Okay, and I'm going to say wrap. Text wrap. Want it to wrap. Text wrap. Text wrap. Wrap. Okay. Want it to wrap. Yeah. Want it to flow into the next line. We're going to have about nine buttons. So I'm going to create an array. I'm going to create an array now. So um, we'll say let's um, numeric btn, numeric btn, because we we'll have an array of numbers. We have numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Okay. So now, I want to now look through this, uh, this numeric buttons, okay? So I'm going to say um, for, to so look through, use the for statement. So we're going to say for i equals to zero, that is the initial value, okay? That's our initial value. And then I'm going to say, I'm now going to determine the end value. So I'm going to say why i less than or equals to, so less than numeric button, ptn dot length. That is, want to pick, want to, you know, the length of uh, this array is about one, two, that is 10, but the index actually starts from one. Okay, so I'm going to now end it there, and then I'm going to now put my attrition, I plus plus. So what this simply is doing is, it's going to, um, it's going to start from zero, which is index number zero, and it will end at nine, I, Less than to my button the DTN dot length, and then go to be incrementing. So we start from zero, one, two. So in part in programming, the the items are arranged is is arranged from zero. Okay, so I'm going to now um, look through this guy. Um, I'm going to create a button. So I'm going to say let's DTN equals to um we'll create a new button documents dot create elements we'll create a new element and that element is going to be what a button element yeah so we're creating a new button element which we're going to use which we're going to use so this bit button element say btn now the inner HTML, inner HTML is going to be, going to be what? It's going to be the the index of I, which is numeric PTN, and then I. So the value which you have this index force on is going to be that. Uh, it's going to be the. Uh, uh, what, um, it's going to be the value that will display on the inner HTML. So um, let us see how it's going to work. So we have our btn dot inner HTML and then um, let us now um, if we say let's say um, numeric btn is close to that. And next we now say um, let's append it now. So we're going to get this guy, this numeric class. Okay. Uh, I think we should also give it an ID. So let's give it an ID. ID equals to numeric PTNs. Okay. 
numeric BTNs, your numeric buttons, sorry. Numeric buttons that goes there. So let's pick that guy up. Come here, so I'm gonna say, let's numeric buttons, okay? Because to documents dot get element by ID, sorry, by ID, get elements by, let's do that again, I like it. Get elements, get elements by ID, okay, you are. Remember ID, the make BTNs. Okay. So let us up. Let us now add it. So we'll see numeric bit buttons. Dot we want to now add this BTN into this numeric button. Say dot append child. Dot append child BTN. Okay. So that's that's what we are trying to do here is we want to now add want to add um, these buttons to this guy, okay? And we already styled it here. Let's change this to flex wrap. Flex wrap. So we already have, we have this ID here, the memory buttons. So now we want to now link the script tag, the script file to this index file. So I want to say, Scripts source we'll see js slash scripts.js. Okay, so if we let's see what's okay, here we go. So we see all the buttons are all arranged for us here. Yeah. All arranged for us. So the next thing we want to do is we want to style our numeric our BTNs. Let's uh, start it. Um, there are several ways we can we can do that. We can start it here. We can create a style for the numeric buttons, and then we can now add it as a class list. Add it as a class list. So, or we can just style it here directly. For instance, here we can say etn dot style dot width. The start that width equals to let's say um the width 50 px that will be in quotes. Yeah, so we switch them okay, let's say 80. I don't know. So if we do that now, you see it's flowing. You see, it's not like it's it's it flows from one, so because we use the first flex wrap. Okay, but the flesh wrap is making it to flow. So uh, what we can do, let's make this times two or times three. Or oh, I don't know, let's say 150. Oh, it's too big. Let's make it 120. What do we get? One, two, three. Okay, cool. Okay, one, two, three. All right. So um we can also change the height. Now look at how we would Add, we can change the style here, and then we can now add it. So if I say dot, um, this is, it will have a, um, let's say dot um, numbers, dot numbers, for instance. And let us set height to be equal to 100 px, for instance. Okay, let's set um background color for instance to let's just see on these colors here. Which one do we use? Light color, right? Let's use this one. Okay, let's use uh, color color. Let's give it this guy here. Okay, okay, all right, cool. Now you see that we have this like this now. Now this dot numbers is a class. It's a class, right? HTML class. So I come to the script here and I say, and I say PTN dot class list. 
dot add. Okay, add this class list numbers. So what happens is that it's going to pick. It's just going to pick the class this dot numbers class and just use it to arrange itself. Cool, right? Okay. So we have our uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we want this text to increase. So if I now, if I, all I need to do, instead of me making changes here, I can just come to style.css and just, uh, just change some stuff here. So we'll say font size. Let's make it very big. Let's say ATPX. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, so right. Now I can add, add I can add other elements to this guy. So after zero, maybe I want to add it. A decimal point here. I want to add a decimal point here. And I want to also add them. Um, what do I add here? Let's say I want to add a zero zero. Okay, zero zero. So I do the scripts. Okay. So now you see. I have numeric buttons here targeting these numeric buttons, which is which is this guy here, numeric buttons. Okay. Now because because I have I have created this variable inside this for loop, okay, it will not be as accessible. It will be accessible outside this scope because this variable is local to the scope. So to make it global, I'm going to pick it out and have it here outside the scope. You see that I still have the same output. Now, if I come out here and create other BTNs, for example, I say let's additional, let's let's add BTN. This equals to the same thing and create a new element, document dot creates element creating a button again. This time I'm going to say add btn okay dot inner html equals to full stop as a decimal point. Then I say add btn dot class list dot add I'm adding Numbers. Okay. Okay. And then the width, sorry. I have to also. Uh, what I'll just do instead of this here. Okay. There's no need for this. I just comment this out. Shift up forward, forward slash. We'll take care of that. I go to my style. I come here and I change the width. So this guy here, so, all right, cool. So finally, I come and append child. We'll see numeric, numeric buttons dot append child. Now, append child um, adds BTN, okay? So you see, it's gonna add it, you see that? So I can do the same thing. I can, so instead of this now, I can say, I can say, um, let's just do it again. Let's just do that again, just to make our life easy. <laughs> so I'm going to just zero, zero. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, what happened? Okay, sorry, this last statement. I'm not supposed to repeat the last statement. Okay, okay, good. So we have our vibe. So, but uh, I need this to shift. So what I'm gonna do, I go to style, and that's our numeric. I say margin left. Let's make it 35. Okay, I think it's much better now. Okay, cool. So the same thing also from our printers. Okay, for my operators now, now that you know how to do this, I can do the same thing for my operators. I'm just going to say, let's 
operators between equals to I just add them in this list. I want to say I want to add plus, I want to add minus, I want to add times, I want to add divide, I want to add percentage. Okay. Okay, cool. So now I can just, you know, stop wasting my time. Copy and paste this guy. But then I will need my, um, what's it called? You see these ID numeric buttons? I have to create an ID for operator buttons. Okay. So I can therefore come here and say, let's this guy also documents that's document that get element by ID that so printer buttons okay we're appending to this guy and we're not using numeric buttons here we're using operator sorry I'm using operators BTN operators BTN comes here so we're going to look through all of that. So by the time we do that, now we are adding say class list of add numbers, but if you see, we just, this is what we get, but this is not what we want. We want it to be in a straight line. So to solve that problem, we come to our start, our we're going to style. We have this dot. Sorry, we're going to start this guy here. These operators, operators now. Okay, there we go. The operators is here. Uh, okay. We have numeric. We have numeric. Operators. Okay. The 5px. Let's say display flex. Let's say flex direction column. So what's going to do? to force them to be in a straight line. And then let's reduce these guys. To do that, you see that we have dot numbers. Let's change that. We're going to have stop dot numbers. We're going to have dot operators. Operators. In this case now, we're going to reduce the height. Height's going to be 70, which is going to be 100. Okay, and then this color, this color, let's just, change it to something else. I don't know. Let's change it to something else. Okay, so the operators, so I go to scripts. So classes that add will add operators to that guy. Okay. Okay, almost there. Almost there. Almost there. I think we have to change the font size. Yeah, font size was too big. Okay. So finally, let's text align. Center. Okay. No, sorry, not a, not yeah, operators now. Or rather. We can shift margin left, margin left. Let's give it 10 px. Oh, okay. We have a problem there. I don't know what that is doing there. Okay, mm. let's, let's increase the height a little bit. Okay. Or let's add another button here. What do we add? After, uh, let's do cancel, right? Let's do cancel. No, sorry guys. There's equals to. Uh-huh. Yes, it's much better now. It's equals to. 
I totally forgot. Okay, very good. And let us give our buttons the, the impression of a shadow. Let's give it a box shadow. Let's say 30 px, 15 px, 5 px. And let's give it a color. I don't know. Let's give it a color. What color do we give? Hmm. Okay. So that's too big. Okay. Okay. Hmm. That's still too big. Okay, that's much better. And then let's also tell it to um, cursor pointer so that to do, yeah, that's much better. Yep. I think we should do the same thing for the operators. Okay, so I'm going to just leave this guy. But this time I'm going to change the color. Let's we'll change this color. Let's change it to something. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we get. Hmm. All right. Cool. Fine. Finally. So that is good. So we have our calculator already, and all with the help of JavaScript. We use JavaScript to create everything. Now, you see, these guys, this numbers class now, I can um, um, assess it now. Okay, I can assess it. I can say, let's numbers etn equals to document dot get element by class name numbers. Okay, so now I can add an event listener to numbers. I can say numbers, let numbers of btn dot add if dot add event listener. Okay, now it's going to listen to the click event. I'm going to pass a function to it. I'm going to get something for it from it. What we want to get is we want to get the this number on the body here. So if I say if I say let's num equals to it's equals to um This equals to this guy, advert listener dot inner HTML or dot okay, let's say in a okay, in a HTML. Okay, and then this guy here. This guy, this this guy is uh, is our display, our display. So if I say let display because the that display is uh, is a class. So let us give an ID of display display text so you say wow wow document that get element by ID okay so I cannot say display that's inner HTML 
No. Okay. So what we are trying to target is okay. Um we want to be able to click and get the button that was clicked. Okay, let's see it in. I'm going to add this event listener here. I'm going to add this event listener to this BTN here. Okay. I'm going to add it there. Okay. Okay, I don't even need that self. I can just pick this guy and say no close to this. Okay. Okay, let's see. Oh. Let's see what we have. Okay. Yeah, it's not, it's not a function. Okay. Display that slice line what sixteen. Okay. Display get element by ID. It says it's not a function. Hmm. Who is display? Let's just find out. Oh, sorry, it's not a function. Which line is that? 44, sorry, let's just remove this guy. Okay, okay, we have the error, display that inner HTML is not a function. Let's see, what is the problem here? That inner HTML display that inner it seems to be an issue. I'm trying to figure it out. But in the HTML, he said it's not, it's not, let's try in a text. I don't know. Still won't work. In a text is not a function. This is just the last step, and here we are having an error. Let's try and figure this out. Okay, so we have div display this guy, display text ID. Okay. Let me see if I display this nice demo. What do we have? Line 16, 12, okay, oh, sorry guys, my bad, I was confused with what I was saying, it was too long, sorry, it was too long, sorry. So seven. Okay, everything is equal to seven. Okay. So BTN that's in a channel. Good. Good, good, good. Right. So we have our non possibility dot in HTML. Then what we want to do actually is if I say one and two, it should stay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to concatenate. Now for me to concatenate, I create a variable outside. Let me say, let me say, let's number text equals to empty so i'm going to say number text 
equals to num. What test was another text was num. And because this is a string, if I add a number to it, that number will automatically be converted to a string. So I'm going to display number text. So this way, if I say one, you see, it's, it's going to just add. Yes, and then I can now add and continue. Okay. So we're going to pause here. Uh, this will be the part one of this lecture. Let me just go over what we have done so far and see if we can understand. So right now I have the main, I'm trying to build a calculator. And this is what we have. If you see what we have here is almost looking like what we have succeeded in doing. Okay, very archaic design, but it works. <laughs> okay, it works, that's what matters. All right, so we have um, our normal, you know, HTML um, tags, and then our head, our body. We just have this calculator div, class calculator div. And inside it, we have two divs. One div with class display to display text, and the other div to display buttons. And for the for class buttons, we have two divs again, one for numeric buttons and the other for operators buttons. Okay, and then you see how we style the classes. We style the classes, the calculator, the display, the buttons, and all that. But there are some that we, uh, we styled, but we didn't use them until we started working with JavaScript. Now, this is JavaScript. Now, what we did in JavaScript is we created an array. We created an array, and uh, this array has um, 10 um, numbers. And then we created the numeric buttons. That is the pad where all the numeric buttons will stay, and also the pad where all the operator buttons will stay. Also created the number text to display text on the display um, area. They will loop through our numeric BTN, our array, loop through, created the button, it's called BTN. We um, assign the value of this, each one to each of the BTN. We added the class numbers, this style, to style each of them. So imagine that we have to do this for each one of them one by one. It's going to be cumbersome. But with this for loop, we could do everything at once. And then we also added an event listener, and the event listener will get the inner HTML of that button, add it to the number text, and put it on the display. The same thing for the operator. This will be the same thing for the operator. So for the operator, what we'll do is when you click on plus, it's going to uh, create a scenario you can add to, you can add to, um, uh, add two um, numbers, so press minus, subtract, multiplication, divide, percentage, and then you can do equals to to finally get your output, your results. Yep, so that's our calculator app. Uh, I'll try and um, post this on GitHub and you can be able to get up, post the link for our GitHub repository so that we can have access to it. Um, <laughs> so it's nice uh, to talk about JavaScript with you. And um, I'll be creating the part two as soon as I can. Thank you and bye.